Hello Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. I do your reading almost daily and I upload your videos right away. So these messages are current. In this reading, we are going to get you some important general messages. Please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it will not resonate with each and every one of you. Spirits and angels, please show me important general messages for Sagittarius today. This is a Celtic cross spread. We've got the King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Slow and steady wins the race with the Knight of Pentacles here. Um, sitting in your advice position. So if you look at the High Priestess right here, it's in the middle. And surrounding the High Priestess is the Seven of Wands, Five of Wands, and then we've also got the Tower right here. So despite all of the chaos, for some of you, Saj, if you're going through a very chaotic period of time, where people around you could be fighting you or being jealous of you, gossiping about you, or it could be very competitive uh, towards you. And seven of wands here, everybody wants, you know, everyone wants to, everybody wants to fight for their position. That's what I'm getting here. Um, and with the tower here, you know, it could indicate, you know, uh, things could actually turn very very ugly if this is the case such if you're going through and obviously this message is not for everyone it's just for whoever who needs to hear it so for those of you such if you're going through a very chaotic period of time right now the high priestess right in the middle of the spread suggests that you need to keep really really calm okay and very very tight lip don't be a part of that equation it feels a little bit like it feels a little bit like one of those people who will function better um, during chaos. Um, some people can just you know uh, control. Some people during chaos they are more um, they are more steady. That's what I'm getting here because the Nine of Pentacles is a very steady energy, right? This is how you can solve the issues this is when you will have you'll be in the right mind to solve whatever issues that you could be facing right now it could be with these people or if this is not people this could be your it could be you internally right 501s can indicate maybe you are feeling conflicted right now and seven of wands you like to fight for something or for someone that you believe in and we've got the tower here but it's all going out of control because it's just too much going on. And I feel like with the high priestess, she's definitely saying to either use your intuition, um, trust your intuition, or the high priestess also can indicate someone who has a lot of information, knowledge, and also somebody who is being completely partial. So um, you see, that's a black... And we've got the white pillar, black and white pillar here. So what I would like to suggest is, uh, some of you, if you feel like your head, your mind is going, you know, um, a mile in a minute, um, perhaps writing it down, making it clear. So black and white, it feels like, you know, it's like uh, writing down uh, something, um, like a document. Some of you, perhaps, you just need to see the facts. Because these ones are passion or desire um, driven, okay? So um, I feel like knowing the black and white as in the facts. Just for example, I've been watching The Good Doctor on Netflix, and that was one patient. This is just an example. There was one patient, and he, he was giving these two options, right? Whether to choose to have a surgery or not. 
because they can't quite take the biopsy. They couldn't check the, this person's, uh, the, the patient's biopsy because, you know, it would, um, something about some nerves around it, like it, it could cause him death. So they couldn't actually check if it's cancerous or not, but they could actually like take the whole thing out, but it could cause um, other sites, uh, could, there could be consequences. He could die or he could have um, some disabilities after that. But whatever the case is, <laughs> such, I'm just gonna keep it sh short because um, Sometimes I just keep going on and on with the story. But I feel like such um, spirits could be saying maybe if you were to write it down because that patient, I remember he asked, I just want to know the numbers. So the doctor gave him the numbers and he just made his decision based on the numbers. So that was where I was getting to. <laughs> Basically, the numbers are facts, right? And the um, high priestess here, it's, it's black and white. And just, you know, staying in the middle here, it would be much easier to make a decision or to solve any problems you could be facing right now by with facts. So if this is like a relationship issue, perhaps writing things down, like what I would do is pros and cons of being in a relationship with this person or who this person is. And I will write down, you know, the good things that I like about them. And then I also will write down the bad things, things that I don't like and why things wouldn't work between the two of us. And I will just count <laughs> if the pros is more than the cons, then I will consider being with this person because nobody is perfect, right? And if the cons weigh more than the pros, then I will most likely break up with this person. I feel like this could be the message for you today as such. And eight of pentacles also, you know, this these are pentacles. So mm, pentacles are something physical, also can indicate facts. So you just need your facts and that's it. And that's how you can uh, solve your issues or make a almost right decision, I would say, because, you know, not there's some gray areas for sure, but to help you better, again, to decide to solve whatever issues you could be facing right now, most likely I feel like the solution would be just knowing the facts, okay? Or listing down the facts, or maybe asking, if this has something to do with contract, maybe asking somebody to review it, somebody professional to review it, and maybe, maybe get the, getting into the details would be important because the high priestess definitely knows everything, right? And the eight of pentacles is somebody who pays attention to details. And we've got the queen of wands here in reverse. Some of you, you just like, I'm not sure if I should take actions, what action should I take, right? And nine of swords, you could be fearing that you might regret for the actions that you are gonna take or decision that you're gonna be making. And I feel like with the nine of pentacles, it's sitting in your advice position and look, this is a pentacle again. So for me, this indicates facts. All you need is facts. That's definitely today's message as such. For those of you, if you're going through this, um, a situation where you just unsure, where you just unsure, you're feeling very torn in regards of making a certain decision. And the Nine of Pentacles is a slow energy. So for me, this indicates, you know, um, no rush. So spirits could be saying, because it's a very slow energy, so spirits could be saying no rush in making this, de this decision. Uh, or if you take s slower and you get all your facts right before you make the decision, that will be, um, the outcome will be better for you, okay? Because the fool here is in reverse. So this may also indicate somebody is afraid to make a mistake. Risks, it could be risky uh, for some of you, right, Saj? It could be risky to either continue with whatever you could be going through right now or to change it. Um, maybe there is a risk involved. So to calculate your risk, again, I feel like with the Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, the High Priestess here, use your intuition, but also you need your facts, okay? Um, hmm. And if it's you feeling torn between two people, if that's the case, yeah, 
choose the one whom is the most stable, most reliable, most hardworking, most sincere. So not pentacles is the you know most hardworking, sincere, reliable person. And we've got the four pentacles here in love first. I feel like for some of you, if this has something to do with money <clears throat> or your career, some of you, if you think you are at the risk of losing your job or losing a project, or losing your business, losing money in your business, um, Spirit is definitely saying to do a chart. I'm getting that. Do a chart, black and white. Get all your facts and that will lead you to finding some things out like i don't know i keep getting this message where there's something kind of hidden that you may not see it because the high priestess also can indicate something that is hidden but when you put it out right if you write it down uh, or if you have a chart you will see you will find you will find that one thing that is wrong okay that's how you can actually see clearly that's definitely what i'm getting here for your message today um and we've got the king of cups right here king of cups you know this is the king of love so the king of cups is somebody who doesn't really want to show their feelings but they're emotionally stable so i feel like uh spirit's definitely saying aside from your emotions Okay, just uh, aside from emotions, because it feels like there are a lot of things going on in here, right? 501, 701, the tower. Um, some of it could be due to, you know, conflict, may have something to do with emotion. Sometimes we don't just make the best decision when we are emotional. That's what I'm getting here. And the King of Cups is very emotionally stable, perhaps. Some of you, you need to rein that in a bit with your emotions. And then just look at the facts. That's definitely the message that I'm getting here today for you guys. Uh, Saj, I also do other readings, love readings, other questions. So check it out in your bonus compilation reading if you, uh, if you want to. You can click on that um, playlist. It's on the screen right now, most likely. You can scroll all the way down, look for your sign, okay? And also, I'll leave you with another playlist. It's from my second channel. It's titled Asia. Check it out if you want to. Uh, it's a travel vlog channel. And I'm closed for personal reading for now. And for those of you, Saj, if you like to be notified every time when I post your videos, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button. Take care, Saj. Bye.